the syntax for for loop and this for is the statement is the keyword that is used uh, for the for loop and it comes with these parentheses so every for loop will come with these parentheses now within this parentheses we will be having three statements so we will be having three statements the first statement is the initialization statement why i am calling this as a, a statement is because every statement ends with a semicolon now as we have seen in our programming language uh, in our programs that we have seen so far everything which ends with the semicolon is considered as one single line of code or a statement of the program so that is the reason why as they are getting ended with these semicolon so each one is considered as a statement so here we are having three statements the first one is the initialization statement and the second one is check condition statement conditional checking statement and the third one is incrementation statement so let's understand each and every statement in detail whenever the for loop gets executed for the first time whenever the for loop is getting executed for the first time then only this initialization step will get executed so after that how many times we may enter into this for loop how many times we may repeat the code that needs to be repeated several times how many times we may execute how many times we may enter into the for loop this initialization part will not get executed so make a note of this we will have that experience by using that example so we will understand that concept by using that example so the important point is the initialization part is executed only whenever we execute the for loop for the first time once the initialization is done we are going to go into this check condition statement so here we are going to check the condition now this condition is the very important part of this entire for loop because this is where the decision is made the for loop is going to decide whether to iterate the loop again or not try to understand this as the job of this loop structures is to do the repetitive work again and again and again and again so we need to make a decision whether we have to enter into the loop again or not so that decision is made by this this part of the statement which is check condition statement 